Okay, packages, packages. Oh, I gotta do that thing where you get your poop in a group and put it in a box and send it off. Yeah, I didn't want that sitting on the porch. You can tell what that is a mile away. Okay, um, yeah, so don't pet the dogs. Don't draw their attention away from what they're doing. They have work to do, and this woman, can't find little girl pet your dog? And she told her no, no. And the woman actually started yelling at her. She, I don't understand. She just wants to pat her. Can't she just pet your dog? And I'm just like, I, I, I jumped in. I said, don't, don't. I wanted to say it. I wanted to go through the whole, it's against the law. You can't do that. Leave the working dog alone. Um, these people don't understand it. They still don't understand it. And then they start going, what's your disability? What's the dog do? You can't do it. I actually got a video of a man in Walmart um, doing this to her, and I put it on Facebook. Um, and it said fire department on his shirt, so I found it. I was like, you're kidding me, right? You should know this stuff. You should know this stuff. But I know there's a lot of, there's a lot of um, concern about people taking um, pets into stores, and they're not real support dogs. So I, I kind of see both ends. I see, I see what's what concerns everybody but this dog reminds me of her dog Joey and I think that's why it called my name I think that's why it called my name um, yeah I bought it for five dollars I, I suspect it's um, it's not made in the States I really do but I can't find a mark on it anywhere um, it's got a lot of where the, the, the glaze is not cracking all over the place. It's pottery, it's not china, it's pottery. And um, these things sell for between $125 and $160, brand new. Took my breath away, seriously took my breath away. So the proceeds, part of the proceeds from the sale of this little buddy right here is going to go to the, to the pet pantry to help out with giving food out to those who are in need. Yeah, pretty, I know, I got on my soapbox. I'm sorry about that. But it's, it's I go shopping with my sister-in-law, love her to death. Her name is Teresa also. So I, in, in the present, and my brother has a wonderful idea. He says, I just want to say, when people say, can I pet your dog? I want to say, can I pet your boobs? Um, $5 to pet your child, yes. Um, I said, don't do that because people are going to think you're a pedophile. Don't do that. So, but you know, he's got a point. He's got a point. Maybe I should start doing that. Can I pet you? Can I pet your boobs? Can I do that for you? You know, this is, this isn't just like for your enjoyment. This is a working dog. Okay. So enough, enough about that. We're going to have to have a video one time and, and some of the stuff she goes through. I told her, I said, the next time that happens and we're all shopping, look me in the eye. Look me in the eye and say, did you hear about the $20 I found in the purse over there? They will scatter like the wind. They will run over to the other side of the store and we'll never see them again. And we'll have the whole aisle to ourselves. So give it up. Just, just do it. And I'll know exactly what you're saying and what you're talking about. So it's okay. All right. We got the dog, um, mother, child, and in it, this, this, another one that spoke to me and called me by name. This is heavy. This is ironwork, and it's made in India. And there's the little sticker right there. Now I know it says $5.99, but I go shopping when it's 50% off, 75% off, 80% off, 90% off, because as my kids say, I can pinch two pennies until they squeal. And I love this. So I only paid $3 for this. I probably could get the same amount if I took it to recycling at the metal shop. I'm, I'm, it's probably weighs about 10 pounds, well, maybe six, five or six pounds. Um, so if I ship this out, somebody's going to be paying the shipping. I, I don't, I don't pay shipping once in a while. I'll put free shipping on there, but I think it's because the prices, I put the prices up there and I want them to know that they're getting a good price. They're also getting free shipping because um, it just it just draws a certain crowd in so and it's a, it's a it's a mother and she's swinging her child around and again it called my name and uh, I picked it up I couldn't research it right then and there 
I, I think it's made of brass and brass and iron or brass or iron. I'm not sure. I'm no expert in these things, but it's freaking heavy. Um, so I researched it online and a lot of times they don't tell me the company that makes these, but I'll notice the similar, I'll notice the similar and a lot of them had the child facing the mother. This one has the child facing away from the mother and it looks to me like she's swinging the child. I just love this. Just love this. I think, I think, I think it just says something about us as human beings, but, um, I bought it for $3 and it normally sells between 40 and $60 depending on where you're looking. So I thought, yeah, I should be able to get 20 to $25 out of this. And my sister-in-law just looks at me and goes, no, I say this. She's not, she's no dummy. Please, Teresa, you're no dummy. She does Vera and Dooney Burks and uh, Vera Bradley bags and Dooney Burks. And there's, I'm clueless when it comes to purses and makeup bags and stuff like that. I'm absolutely clueless. I, I keep my wallet in my pocket. Once in a while I carry a bag around and it's because I need to carry something that is too bulky and it's just easier to carry a tote bag or a regular bag and again, I I like things cheap. So I don't buy that stuff and she can be clear across the room, I've seen it. We walk through the door, she can be clear across the room and she'll spot something a hundred feet away and she's off with her little dog in her little cart and her little cane and she's getting a scooter um she's getting a scooter so i have a funny feeling the minute we walk through these doors she's going to be off like a shot um told her she's going to need to put a big basket on it but she gets over there and she starts looking she has found money in the purses and she has found registration cards in these bags and some of them are brand new with still with the tags on them i don't know where they're coming from but she finds them. I, I haven't got a clue. I'm looking like going, uh, is this any good? And so she knows her stuff. At KT Creations, you can go over there on eBay and you can see her stuff. And she's been doing this for years. My daughter, Jordan, she doesn't have a store yet. She does a lot of Facebook stuff. But she's the same way. She can she can spot and spot a knockoff, spot a fake a mile away. I wouldn't know a fake coach if I saw it. I would be like, hmm, it looks good, it looks good, it's not calling my name, I'm not buying it. So uh, there was a couple pieces that I picked up and I said, so tell me about this, is this any good? And she laughs at me, oh you poor child, <laughs> she knows her stuff. Anyway, so um, yeah, we're, we're on uh, off of that right now, but back to the dogs, um, some more doggy stuff. This is a Trans Jan Sport backpack. Brand new, still has the tags. Yes, still has the tags. All the zipper works, there's no, there's no rips, no tears. Um, even got the back tag on it still. And it's, a, it's a, that canvas material, Jan Sport. If you, if you, know any, if you have kids in school, um, then you know it's got all kinds of pockets all kinds of zippers and it's all brand new so I don't expect to find any money in it but I'm I used to have kids who needed backpacks for school all the time so I, I know the prices of those and I went to university and um, so yes I know it, it's, it's ridiculous so I bought this believe it or not for three dollars brand new um, they normally retail for anywhere from $25 to $30, depending or $35, depending on where you buy them. So I'm thinking I'm probably going to get between $12 and $15 for this. And uh, shipping shouldn't be very much because it's really, really light. So I'm thinking shipping is probably going to be about $5 or $6. It still makes it less than what you would pay for in the store. And, and, and then the proceeds... From this little Frenchy dog will go to um, Pulaski food part of the proceeds not all of them because I still have to be able to recover my money so I can go out shopping again um, uh, part of the proceeds will go to this Pulaski pet pantry that my treat my sister-in-law Teresa actually helps run 
So, and I go around and hang around. It's at God's uh, Storehouse Thrift Store in Pulaski, Michigan, on uh, last Saturday of the month. And so, she's probably going to hate me for that. Um, but they're, they're, they gave away over a ton of food so far. So anything that can help and um, buy some more dog food, cat food. They even had to give away rabbit food one time. Um, guinea pig food. What was it? The weirdest one. I don't think they've had to give away any bird food yet. I'm waiting for it. Anyway, so then along with that Frenchie bag is this little Tabot's um, large cotton long sleeve t-shirt with the little Frenchie on it. See that little Frenchie? See him? Isn't he pretty? Oh, I love those colors. Yes. I bought this. Picked this up. Um, I picked this one up for $2.50. At Talbert's, um, I'm pretty sure it runs between $20 and $25. Uh, maybe even $30. Uh, Talbert's is a, is a big branding store. And it's, it's brand new. Uh, still had the tags. And did it have the tags? Hmm. Nope, but it's brand new, I promise. I don't, I, I, when I buy uh, stuff like this, if it's not brand new, I call it upcycled because I usually end up having to do something to it, clean it or fix it or change it or add something to it. So I think that one will be going, proceeds, part of the proceeds will be going for that one too. Um, these two totally, these totally, floored me. These are from the 60s, mid-century, and they have seahorses and fishes on there, and I was like, oh my god, they called my name, and I bought both of these, these two, for a dollar. I'm not sure who the maker is. They're not labeled on the bottom, but they got the heavy bottoms on there. And they're tall, they're uh, iced tea glasses, you know, for Long Island iced teas, uh, adult beverages. Um, this is 22 karat gold here, and then some green paint. It's, it's raised, you can feel it. You can feel it when you run your finger over there. And they got the seaweed on here, and the fishes. And um, I paid a dollar for the two. And uh, people were just walking by, and they screamed my name. Um, these sell for eight to ten dollars a piece, so sixteen to twenty dollars for the pair. I'm probably going to be asking for ten to fifteen dollars for these. I don't know, I haven't put them on Etsy yet. They're vintage. Um, I'm thinking right now they're probably between 50 and 60 years old. These would be good now if you want to, if you're having a cocktail party or you're inviting somebody over to your deck. Um, to sit out and this summer and enjoy a cocktail or a Long Island iced tea. Uh, these would be really nice. Very, very ocean-esque. Um, and then I picked those up and my sister was just looking at me, why would you want those? I said, I told her. I said, they're calling my name. Um, next to these, I found these lovely little doodads. These are Libby glasses. they got the heavy bottom on them. These are 8 ounce glasses, but if you look at them, they have mid-century to early century, turn of the century telephones on them. Now, most of your millennials today are not going to recognize these devices. <laughs> okay, some of them will, but most of them won't. And these are the old telephones. There are there are the princess phones and the big the the wall phones, you know. And um, so, I I bought these a dollar for the pair. Again, calling my name, and um, paid a dollar for them. And these sell for between six to eight dollars a piece in the antique stores. I'm, I'm thinking I can get between eight to $10 for the pair. Yeah, I love them. I, I love the colors, the blacks, and if you can see my decor behind me, um, the blacks and the reds and the golds and the, and the tans and all that. So those, I got the pair. And um, we're coming to the end here. Uh, this little piece right here 
is Marquis by Waterford. It's actually a decanter. It's supposed it's brand new, but the piece on top was either broke or missing, so they gave it to the thrift stores. When I saw it, I could see the rainbow colors immediately in the bottom. It's crystal. Um and I could I could it's heavy. It's probably a pound, pound and a half. And you could see where the stopper was supposed to fit in here. And I've thought about getting a stopper, but um, I could, you could use this as a vase. This is great for a centerpiece. And if you can see right there, it says Marquis, uh, what is it? By Waterford, Waterford Crystal, yeah. There we go. Um, anyway, so um, I, I grabbed it up and my sis, again, my sister-in-law is giving me funny looks. And um, I said, oh no, to call my name. Um, I paid four dollars for this. Four dollars for this. Um, great for flowers. Um, put some pebbles down here in the bottom. Put it in your centerpiece. Let the sun bounce off of it. The light bounce off. I love reflective items, especially in the middle. Not too tall. Um, that one right there. Yeah. Uh, it goes online with the stopper. Forty to sixty dollars. Uh, this is a brand new item. This isn't something that was used by somebody else. Uh, I, 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 when I saw it on researching it online, I was floored. Forty to sixty dollars. Forty dollars on sale. Sixty dollars uh, regular retail, and I picked it up for four dollars. So I'm expecting to get. That's going to go on Etsy probably. Uh. I'm expecting to get somewhere between $25 and $30 for that. Um, it'll probably be $25 and then shipping will probably bring it to about $30, $32. So whoever buys this uh, at my Etsy or eBay store is still going to get a deal. And money help goes to all my little pet projects. So, so that's it for this video right here. And thanks. If there's anything you see, if there's anything that caught your eye, uh, my mess, my, my discombobulated mess right now, I'm going to be making more videos because I, I have been doing this for a while and haven't had time to make videos and haven't had time to, I've been so busy trying to get things online and get everything straightened around and running around helping with my, helping my sister-in-law go shopping. So, um, Teresa at KT Creations and then myself uh, Tinker Terry's uh, T-I-N-K-E-R-T-E-R-R-Y-S I'll be putting a link in the bottom of the video um, once I get it posted uh, if, you, if there's anything you see if there's anything you want to know about if you have any questions oh there is one more thing I almost forgot it's not all about the china it's not all about the glass um, this little piece right here this is hand crocheted, and I do crochet and I do knit, so I recognize good quality when I see it. This is a baby blanket, and it's got the little granny squares around the edge, and even up in the corner. They have a yellow one and a pink one, and it's a blue one and a green one. And it's granny squares all the way around, like in, in rows, and it's in beautiful shape. It, it, this blanket was loved. This blanket was given to somebody. Somebody crocheted this blanket for somebody else out of love. And um, I picked this one up for uh, $2. And I, I had to wash it because it had a stain on there. And I'm thinking it wasn't baby stain. I'm thinking somebody spilled coffee on it. Yeah. And all the, all the, it's got that tight single crochet and double crochet in it. And I'm, I'm, I'm telling you, somebody spent probably 40 hours. And if you were to buy something like this online, somebody made this for you, uh, the materials alone would probably run them between $12 and $15. And then you figure their time that went into this. Yeah, I, I'm thinking it's about 36 inches by 40 inches. So about baby crib size and yellows and greens and pinks and blues, but um, it would cost you between uh, 
30 and $40, and I've seen them go as high as $60 for um, a blanket like this in, for a baby. So if you know anybody who's having a baby, if you know anybody that um, there's going to be a baby shower for, this would be a beautiful gift to give them. Um, it's made with love. You know, it's it's got that quality to it, high quality stuff. This this is high quality. I did not make this. Um, I'm kind of jealous because it's beautiful. But um, anyway, so it's going to be that one's going to be on Etsy. Uh, check the links down below. Uh, say hi. Let me know if you saw my video. And bear with me. I, uh, this is the first of many videos, and I'm trying to do this really fast. So there are some some things that. Um, I may have missed some things that you're looking at me going, what are you doing? Um, make comments, say hello. Uh, let me know you're out there. And uh, check out my store at Tinker Terry's uh, at eBay and Tinker Terry's on Etsy. And um, you guys have a good day. Bye.